Welcome to GMAT Tuesdays! It's Tuesday, and my name is Kevin! I was just getting ready for Thanksgiving. I really like Thanksgiving and eating turkey. It's actually my favorite holiday, and that's why, you know, you gotta be prepared. Even the Tuesday before, you gotta get ready. You gotta get your utensils, your napkin, and get down to business. Okay! Uh... Today, we're talking about what matters uh, in the real world. Real world matters. And again, this is not stuff that is tested on the GMAT. These are just concepts that, if you know about them, uh, it'll make reading comprehension and critical reasoning that much easier. So not tested, but knowing about them uh, will help a lot. So uh, today, we're going to talk about sample size and t statistically significant and what those two words mean. Um, in a lot of social and natural sciences, you'll hear a lot about these terms and phrases. Actually, not words, they're phrases. Um, and so I would like to run through an example to help you understand what these things are. So um, perhaps you have a hunch or an idea and you want to see if that idea is possibly true. So for example, Will a message to students make them answer more questions? It's a very excellent question. And actually something that we're looking at here at Magoosh. If we message students about reminding them to answer questions, will it actually make them answer more questions? Well, I don't know. We have to find out. Uh, we have to test it. So first thing you're going to do is get a sample group or a sample size uh, to test with. And so we wouldn't test this with every single Magoo student, um, just like scientists don't test, ask every single person in the world. They find a big enough group that could be representative of uh, everyone in that group. And so, for example, um, to test this idea, uh, we would craft a message and then choose a group of maybe 200 people to work with, or 200 students. Um, and so that's what we did, and... You choose 200 students and you decide to give one group a message and the other group not a message and you keep everything else the same. And the idea is to see if the message actually increases the chances that uh, one of those groups or the group that gets the message answers the question. So statistically significant is means that when you look at your results, there's enough evidence to prove that it wasn't by chance that something changed or something went up. So it's uh, the probability that something didn't happen by chance. And so that's why you have a group of people who you don't send the message to. So um, this is a drastic, I should say, a very drastic simplification of this process just to illustrate these words. Um, so in this first example, so let's say we had a group of 200, like I said. Um, there's 100 people who get the message and 100 people who don't get the message. And then we look at the results and we see of the 100 people who got the message, 100 answered more questions and no one answered less questions or no more questions. And then if you didn't get the message, you didn't answer more questions. This is absurd and ridiculous. Nothing that you test really ever ends up like this. Um, and it's not interesting because it's not ambiguous. Um, the whole point of something being statistically significant is that there's a little bit of ambiguity. It's not exactly clear, but here it's clear. The message helped. But again, this is not very representative of how things actually work in the real world. Um, if we look at scenario number two, we see 100 people get the message, 100 people do not get the message, and then we see 50 of them answered more questions, 50 did not. And then if they didn't get the message, 50 people answered more questions and 50 people did not. So this is just, it doesn't matter. It's a direct split in half of people answering more questions, not answering more questions. Unambiguous. It doesn't help us to know if a message actually is helping students to study more and answer more questions. So again, this is not representative of what we see in the real world um, and not like, um, not like tests that people conduct. It's never that uh, unambiguous. Now, let's look at some scenarios that get closer to how things are in the real world. 
So in uh, the third scenario, we have, again, 100 people got the message, 100 people did not. And then we see of the people who got the message, 55 answered more questions, 45 did not. But then the people who did not get uh, the message, 50 people answered more questions and 50 people did not. So now we're starting to get closer to something that's a little ambiguous, ambiguous, excuse me, because we do see that people who got the message did answer more questions than the people who did not, um, and here as well, but the, ch the difference is so small. It's very little. It's not that statistically significant um, because this could just be by chance. But if we look at scenario number four, again, 100, 100, so of the people who got the message, 75 answered more questions. Of the people who didn't, only 25 answered more questions, or didn't answer more questions, excuse me. And if you didn't get the message, you answered, the people answered about 56 more, or excuse me, 56 people answered more questions, 44 did not. Now this is more interesting and statistically significant because it seems that, the, that it, we can say that getting the message did increase uh, the amount of people who answered questions. Um, so this is more interesting. It is um, possible that it's still by chance, but the likelihood is very low. And there's actually calculations that scientists will run to know what is the probability of this result happening by chance. You won't need to do that on the GMAT, um, but it is good to know. So uh, the two phrases or terms to walk away from this video with sample size, that's the group that you're testing. It's always a subset of a larger group. And then statistically significant, it means that you, the probability that something did not happen by chance, that it did not happen by chance. So expect to get a message from us encouraging you to answer questions. All right, that's it. Be excellent to the universe, and I will see you next Tuesday. Enjoy Turkey Day.